death called Dre No Brain, the industry, the things about the entertainment industry. You might not know, but I'm going to get you hip. The beef between Lotto and Ice Spice continues. So I thought that after, you know, Ice Spice jumped on, not Ice Spice, but Lotto jumped on million dollars with the game with, with Gillian Wallow. She explained, like, you know, she wasn't trying to start nothing between her and Ice Spice with the little video that she had with Ice Spice in the background. That wasn't enough. I thought, you know, she might have finished it there and let Ice Spice respond, but Lotto pulled up to her hood, and allegedly, in a bunch of cars to make a video, a song, drop a song, whatever. But here go Lotto on live, speaking on it, doubling down on it some more. Here you go. Let me tell you something. I did the interview solely for the purpose so I didn't have to, like, do shit like this, get on live, get on Twitter, and... But clips got chopped up. So what I am going to do is speak on it. When y'all ever know me to duck smoke? Bitch, I'm, like, I'm never ducking smoke. This, this a throw rocks higher hand narrative? Yeah, I don't like that. Fuck I look like, fuck I look like throwing rock and hot in my hand. That, that little clip. I'm sorry y'all never been in a sprinter before. Music videos be on shuffle. Shit don't be that deep. I ain't see the shit. My mom can drop dead right now if I'm fucking lying. Fuck I need to lie for it. I already said I'm not ducking smoke. If it's smoke, if it's, uh, if it's, uh, what card is that? If it's up, uh, and it's up, uh, uh. the fuck, if it's smoke, then it's smoke. But I don't have to lie. I ain't see that shit till y'all pointed it out. I'm drunk as fuck. Leaving camp. Or whatever the fuck club I was at in Houston. Now, I'm just recording a fucking TikTok. Shit don't be that deep. And on my mother, if I did see that video behind me, I still would have proceeded. The fuck a bitch gonna do to me? Y'all, y'all need to stop this whole oh, she's lying and she put her hand and the rocks in her hand. Who? Who? When y'all ever knew me to do some shit like that? The fuck? Oh my mama, if I seen that shit behind me, I still would have proceeded. So I have no 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 problem saying that I didn't see it. Let me tell you something. I did the interview. There's another video to this. I'm going to go ahead and find that. Here it is right here. Hey. But look, though, before I play it, subscribe to my account right quick, man. I'll be out here putting this work in for y'all. Subscribe to my account, man. I'd appreciate it. But here go the second video. Run it. Now, I'm just recording a fucking TikTok. Shit don't be that deep. And on my mother, if I did see that video behind me, I still would have proceeded. Oh, it's this. It's... The fuck a bitch going to do to me? Y'all, y'all need to stop this. Oh, she's lying. She put her hand and the rocks in her hand. Who? Who? When y'all ever knew me to do some shit like that? Just a repost. The fuck? No, I'm just recording a fucking. Ah, come on, act, man. You, 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 you bamboozled us, man. I thought it was some, some updated information, but anyway. Like I was saying, I'm gonna go ahead and play this uh, this this right here where they spoke about it, just so you can understand why I said she doubled down on it, because this was her speaking on it with um, Gillian Wallace. Spice being in the back in that video was that the right here? <laughs> yeah, you came right to it. Huh? I did not do that on purpose. Right. Okay. But fuck it, like you know what I'm saying, like. And she took it like you did it on purpose. Oh okay, well then let's do it then. Like it wasn't like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It wasn't like that. Swear to God, like it wasn't like that. My drama in Houston, having a ball, leaving yeah. the club, drunk as fuck. I'm like, yeah. mm -hmm. let me make a little TikTok to this song I like type shit. So before she came out and said she was talking about you, did you know she was talking about you? Oh no, I didn't know that song was about me till she said it was yeah. about me type shit. I don't mind the 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 rapping sport of it. This yeah. is a sport. 
Sure. Yeah. This is like basketball. Oh, bitch, you say you better than me. Take these bars with you. Mm. Now let me hear what you got. Th mm. That's all this is. Like, yeah. like you said, like, baby, I, I come from a rap competition show, so like, yeah, if it's gonna be that, let's do it. I'm gonna say what I got to say right back, baby. I ain't running from no smoke. Ice Spice being in All right, man. So like, like I said in my in my last video, I would normally sit here and say, you know, I, I think Shorty insinuated some smoke between her and Ice Spice. And the reason that I said that in my last video, because I'm going to say the same thing I said. Basically, I was saying that, look, there is 100% no way that Shorty wasn't doing that with the intentions of starting something. And the reason that I said that, this is prior to hearing her sit here and say that she didn't know. The reason that I was saying that is because, like I said, it was already a little like stirring up but within the fans and stuff stating that they think that Lotto and Ice Spice was beefing with each other. And Lotto 100% has to have had known that. There's no way she didn't know that. So what I was saying was, with that knowledge, posting that video with Ice Spice in the background is 100% Start and smoke. Now, with that being said, now we get to this. She's saying that she didn't know. She didn't know that Ice Spice was playing in the back. But she's saying it don't even matter. Regardless, it could be smoke. And if it's smoke, it's smoke. So I don't know how to. I don't, I don't know. What y'all think, man? Y'all think she? Y'all think she? Y'all think she's telling the truth? Y'all think she didn't know that it was in the background? I'm going to go ahead and play it. I'm going to play that I'm going to play that video from how it all kind of seemingly went off the wall. This is complete recaps from the other videos, but this is what what it was. It's this video right here. She's saying that she was extremely drunk, turned up in this one right here. So if you peep what she's saying, she said, I just want my one on one. Don't know why she's so nervous. And in the background is Ice Spice. So that then props Ice Spice to say this. Because the, the thing is, for me, why am I like, why am I seeing that I'm in the back of your weak ass snippet? Like, that's how right. I was oh, literally like, so I was like, wait a second, that's me. So I'm like, OK, <laughs> since we're talking about me, let's talk about me. And I dropped that. It was really Cause the, the thing and so what Ice Spice is referring to is she's saying she says right here Ice Spice confirmed that her track You Think You The Shit The Fart Song was aimed at Lotto I put it out because bitches were being funny that day like why am I in the background of your weak ass snippet hmm I don't know man because it, you know this is, the, this is the kill the kill is if if Lotto did that on accident let me tell you something I did the way beef works <laughs> What is she supposed to do? Back out now? What is she, you know, because at this point, she knows that Ice Spice is completely dissing her. That's just, I'm just playing the dumb, the dumb role of she don't know, or she didn't know that Shorty was playing in the background. Now that the beef is rolling and she finds out Ice Spice has already dissed her before she can even jump on an interview and respond to it, da -da -da -da, maybe she feel like she looked soft. For not standing on it. But this is what I would say. This will be my recommendation. I would have been. See this is this is what I feel like I would have done. This is what I think I would have done. If I misinterpreted. Or if I got misinterpreted. Doing something. Or disrespecting somebody. If somebody got disrespected. Feeling that type of way. If I really did that shit on accident. Bro, I'd leave it at that. I'd be like man listen. That shit wasn't It wasn't even like that bro Like you know what I'm saying It wasn't even like that Slim I just fucking did the shit And your ass just happened To be in the back bro That's just what it is If you wanna be mad about it That's on you But It wasn't supposed to be that That's not her response right here Her response right here Seems like she wants Smoke with shorty And now mind you 
See, I don't know. Nah, that this is flawed. This is flawed. This is flawed. This is flawed. And the reason that I say this is flawed, her explanation, is because didn't she pull up the shorty hood? She did. And not only that, but she also like, hold on, man, hold on. I'm going way back into my shit. She also, let me let me see. Oh snap! She did. She did say some lyrics. Hold on, hold on. So she say, "Think I'm the shit, bitch? I know it, ho. Jesus walked on water. I got ice boiling though. Hey, hey. Miss me with that sucker shit. I'm not your baby mama. Block his ass on everything. He and my DMs writing albums. Burr. Better hold your nigga tight before I make him come up. Before I make you come up off him. Say two wrongs don't make a right. But I'm the type." Get one up on them. That's some weak. See, listen. Here go my main account right here. Struggle ass bars, nigga. But 100% this first little section right here. Think I'm the shit, bitch. I know it, ho. Jesus walked in the water. I got ice boiling, though. 100% that ice spice. But back to my point. Shorty, didn't you pull up to her hood, allegedly? With a bunch of empty SUVs? Now you claiming? Now you claiming? Like, even like this. Look, get in the booth, bitch. Like I said in my other video, proxy war. I'm claiming proxy war. And let me explain again what proxy war means. Proxy war is when you fight a battle against somebody without fighting it with them directly. And I'm going to give you an example. United States and Russia don't fuck with each other. They really want to fight each other, but they're not going to. So you know what they do? Fight proxy wars. United States fueling ukraine giving them weapons to fight russia is a proxy war apparently lotto don't fuck with Nicki minaj but you know who does ice spice so instead of fighting ice Nicki minaj directly i feel like lotto's fighting ice spice proxy war that's what i'm going with all this bullshit she trying to say right here cap and then she posts this she post this. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. You bullshitting. You bullshitting, man. Like, like, like the niggas were saying in the comments. <laughs> Listen. Twerk off, man. Twerk off. Like, like cuz sitting nah, on. The other cuz was wildin', bro. Like, I, I said in the last video, man. I keep on referencing because I just was talking about it. But niggas is in the comment section talking about something. They need to have a squirt off. The first one to fill up a baby pool wins the beef, bro. Niggas is crazy, bro. <laughs> But, man, ain't nothing about to happen between these things, bro. When has something really happened as far as, like, female rappers beef, bro? The only female rapper beef that equ equated into something happening that I can remember was when Nicki Minaj put that damn nugget on, on, on uh, what's shorty name? It's a shame that I'm forgetting shorty name right now. On Cardi B head. Remember when she had that motherfucking chicken nugget hanging on the side of her motherfucking head? That's the only time I can really think of female rappers ever getting close to something happening between them. Because when niggas get their beef and niggas start dying and stuff, bro. This right here, it's child's play. Ain't nothing about to happen. Ain't nothing about to happen with this shit, man. But, like I brought up the accolades in the in the other gym. Because like I told y'all, man, I am a fighter, bro. I'm an MMA fighter myself. So I had to bring up the accolades. You know, Lotto's height and her weight. Lotto is, is 143 pounds and she's 5'6". And Ice Spice was 120 pounds at 5'3". You know what I'm saying? Who y'all think, who y'all got in the fight? Who y'all got in the fight, man? I don't know. I, I'm not going to say it, Pitt. But Lotto seems, she's she's putting on a persona as if she's ready to stand on business. And speaking of standing on business... T.I. son, King Harris, man. He put this is a video of him, man. Seems like he's been standing on business all his life, apparently, man. Go watch that video. Hit the subscribe bubble right here, man. And I am out.